It is pretty normal for kids going back to school to feel a little nervous, the butterflies in the stomach. I'm sure we all remember that, right? But for some kids, it is more serious going as far as stomach problems and headaches and even panic attacks. And that's where the problem comes in. ABC Action News reporter Lauren Mazzella alive this morning with the steps that you can take to help your kids cope with anxiety. It's, it's heartbreaking when you see a child that is dealing with this, Lauren. Absolutely. And yeah, as you mentioned, some for some kids, this is really serious and uh, experts say that there are really a couple of warning signs that parents need to look out for. They say that if your child is experiencing any of those physical symptoms that you just mentioned, Dia, including panic attacks, uh, sweaty palms, they say that they can also experience stomach aches or panic attacks or continually talking about being nervous about going back. Experts say talk to them about what they're feeling and why they're feeling that way, and that can really help them a lot. We went to a child psychologist who gave us some calming exercises you can also try. Just breathing in, breathing out. Um, I've taught clients and ch young children to clench their fists and hold their breath. If they get tense and they blow it out and go. McLean says for younger children, it can also be good for parents to help find a good and private space in their room to calm down and back out here live. They also recommend for those younger kids who might be going to school for the very first time to have them wear a little bracelet or maybe you could put a little stuffed animal or something in their backpack and that helps remind them of mom and dad and helps them feel a connection to home while they're at school. Reporting live in Tampa this morning, Lauren Rosella, ABC Action News.